All right, so because Jumpstart servers are coming and I have a friend ask me a lot of questions about Lost Ark, especially while I'm doing raids, I'm like, bro, I'm trying to do this. And I tried to look up a video to answer a lot of his questions for him and I, I really couldn't find them. Even when people talk about videos for new players, it generally just covers what the Hyper Express is, what a Super Makoko is and all that kind of stuff. So I want to make a series of videos talking about more about things you need to know to get by in the game as opposed to events and other things like that. I will, however, mention events along the way because they are a thing in the game. They are an important thing in the game. Like right here at the start, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of how you want to tackle your first character by using an event, using a power pass or just doing it naturally. Because right now for the Era Master release, we have a free power pass. We have a story access. We have a Super Makoko. Along with that next week, we are getting the Jumpstart servers, which are going to have all three of those events for the Jumpstart servers as well. Now, I have a video about Jumpstart servers, and what the conclusion of that was is that Jumpstart servers is for new players and pretty much only new players. Mainly because horizontal content, which is something we'll talk about later, you will be in a separate economy, you will be in a separate server and everything like that. You will not be able to interact with people on the older server. But that is only for a limited amount of time as it will be up to six months that this server will be separated from the rest of them. They will decide if it goes any further depending on just generally how many people get to high item level, I think. They pretty much just said they'll be watching the numbers, so we'll see. But the bonuses of the server is you're going to get a lot of events, a lot of vendors and stuff like that is going to make your time easier. Along with that is, since you do not have all these experienced players on it, all these older characters, it's just kind of speed run through things. This is going to be the best thing to do to simulate the launch experience for a lot of players. So unless you have a lot of friends who are on another server, an older server, and they're willing to help you out and do a lot of things with you, or you just really want to play with them, I suggest starting out with a jumpstart server. Now, honestly, Lost Ark is a rough game to learn. There is a lot to learn. There's a lot of knowledge, a lot of information, especially since it's been around for a while now. 18 months at NA, yes, or 17 or 18, one or the other, but much longer in KO. So if you're just trying to take it easy, have fun, I would honestly suggest to not start off with a power pass character. You would want to create it because they are on a time limit, but you'd really want to focus a story express or just a normal story mode character. You will learn a good amount of things on the way while just, just not having everything thrown at you at once. The initial story that you're going to be going through will be about eight hours long. It'll get you around to level 50. And then after that, you'll get a free set of level 500 here. That's when tier one used to start. Now tier one and tier two are merged. You don't have to worry about that though. That's just little information of changes and quality of life stuff that they've done. So if you are going to go through story, I want to say that I can't remember all the quest colors because they change it throughout the game, but you're going to want to focus blue and kind of like the gold orange quest colors along with purple ones you'll have on the way as well. The yellow ones, the standard looking yellow quests, those are optional quests, those are side quests. You don't have to do them, you can do them. And then while you are progressing, there's gonna be these items with this icon here that you're gonna find. Those are collectibles. You're gonna wanna just use them as you get them. They're gonna be part of your horizontal progression, something you don't have to worry about really too much on the way of leveling up, but it's something you're gonna have to worry about definitely later. Now I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long time. So I wanna say that you get two and I think it is two, but it is once you get to that level 50, once you clear that main story, you do get two knowledge transfer tickets for two more characters to just instantly transfer to that point of the story of progression. This is a game where even if you do make a lot of all characters, you never have to go through that main story again. So you can just do it once experience and never do it. Again. And if you do do the story spots, you do get additional materials too. So that does make your honing journey, your leveling up journey, your progression even faster. And I should mention how you activate that is you log in and then you should get a pop up about the story express and you just select what character you want to do it on. All right. So there's two other things I've mentioned now already. So I'm going to go over those. The first one is going to be power pass. Power passes are a boosting basically in the game. You pay for the boost. You can do certain parts only if you hear the say. So on this character, I have these first three cleared. So I'm only paying the price of one more clear to the next area of content. So in short, this first one, the Vern power pass, that's the very start of your journey. That's the level 500 I was talking about earlier. The Kunika one is going to hit you, I think, 1302. The South Burn will put you at 1415, and I don't know about the Ogashio one. But regardless, they like to give out a free power pass here and there, generally for new class releases, or in this case, also a jumpstart server. The ones for these ones, I think, are a South Burn power pass. So around 1415, I think you'll get your free characters at. Now, the free ones are time limited, and also you only get these if your account on Steam is a trusted status. I want to say that make sure that even if you do decide to go through a story character, definitely use up your free power pass when you get one. And you can see here in the top left, the event information, you can see where that story request stuff ends. And that's probably when that free power pass is going to end too. So I would say always do things 
a few days earlier before the end dates just to make sure or just make it right away if you know what class you want to make for that power pass character now the other thing i mentioned was knowledge transfer which if you remember is what i said you get two tickets i think it is for clearing north burn the first time now this is the pay the non-cash shop version of boosting through levels to some degree so when you do the north burn transfer you do get your free set of gear however every single one of these you don't get any free gear after that this is just going through the story quest so you can unlock the further content without taking the time to go through story you're going to want this probably on a lot of characters unless you really enjoy story but a good thing about the story is you do get a lot of experience out of it. You generally don't skip it all. You generally do the last three if you're trying to really catch up because you're going to want that experience because getting to level 60, the level cap, is very important. So I'm just going to quickly talk about characters and class choices since we are talking about kind of the very early choices that you're making with this game. Lost Ark is a alt-centric game. This game allows you to play and earn gold on six characters, which made a lot of people decide that, hey, I should play six characters to min-max everything I want to do. Now that is an option because you can not only gain more gold, you can transfer materials between characters and funnel them to one character that you want to push. Now the thing is, a lot of people don't really have alts at this point. They they think they have alts, they, so they, they have the six characters, but they really have six mains. And it ends up not saving them anything for funneling materials or anything like that because they're generally pushing all their characters to the highest content. It's really up to you how many characters you want to play. It really depends on how much time you have. You can absolutely get away with a single character in this game. However, it is going to take longer probably or a little bit more swiping because you're not going to have as much material you're not gonna have as much gold because you're not generating it because a lot of the gold you're gonna gain in this game the majority of it is going to be through daily and weekly content stuff that has limited entry and that's why people do things on a lot of characters so how do you choose what characters should you play everything almost everything i'm gonna say almost almost everything is viable end game you can play pretty much anything you want and still succeed at the game there are three exceptions and these are by design so you have the bard you have the artist you have the paladin they all have just like every other class they have two engraving choices now one is focused around support and the other is focused around damage however these damage engravings are not designed to be end game raid built they are designed to help those players those classes get by in solo content daily content if you're trying to raid on those builds you will maybe get invited as a joke and that's about it nobody will take you seriously you will get gatekept you'll be spending more time looking for a party than actually playing the game but beyond that don't let anything stop you from playing what you want if you want any real suggestions i would say that for the sake of learning you want to pick a simple class you want to pick probably a swiftest class so you have more comfort with it but you really want to play a class that you can focus on the game more than your character your class your rotation now on top of that a lot of classes kind of feel dated because well it is an older game to a point so some classes just feel better than others because they are modernly designed now new classes are going to be obviously part of this but also they have been in the process of revamping old classes to make them modernized so hopefully every class will start to feel better. So here are some of the newer classes and classes that got revamped that would probably be pretty good for starting. So I would say Aeromancer and Slayer, those are the two latest classes. They both have pretty good builds for people learning the game. They're not too complex. On top of that, characters and classes that got revamped recently. There is Sharpshooter, there's Deadeye. Though Deadeye, you would really have to go Pistolier, which I 100% recommend. I love it. I play it a lot. The other one, the other build, the other engraving, I can't even remember the name. It is a lot more complex. Enhanced weapon, that's it. Artillery isn't a bad choice either. Shadow Hunter, Scouter, those are gonna be pretty easy choices for players as well. Personally, I would not recommend pretty much any of the martial artist classes besides Glavier, just because they are kind of in that area of classes that need to be revamped. Now that being said, Scrapper is next on the list because they are releasing a male Scrapper, so they're gonna be redoing a lot of things for Scrapper. And of course, there's going to be supports. This game, obviously people, just like any other game, not everybody wants to heal and do that kind of stuff. So generally there is a support shortage and I'm going to guess there's going to be quite a bit of one on the jumpstart servers at launch. If it's anything like the official launch, it, it is going to be a six people in a party waiting for two supports to finish you off. Now, a couple classes I would say probably avoid as a new player. The first one is going to be Arcana. This, this Arcana class, it has a RNG mechanic that you have to react to if you want to get the best out of it, along with it being a pretty switchy class in close range. It's not a good class for beginners, and the same thing I could say about Gunslinger. That is another really high skill cap one. Same thing, which again, it's basically the same thing as Enhanced Weapon as well, I should say. But those are classes where you're dealing with three sets of skills because you have three different weapons. You're rotating around, you're papery. You have to be up close for shotgun skills. 
it is it's just a pretty high skill cap and you're gonna be focusing on your character and your rotation more than you are the bosses and the content and you're probably gonna eat it because you don't know the boss but hey if you really want to play a gunslinger if you really want to play enhanced weapon if you really want to play arcana don't let me stop you play it give it a shot and you can decide for yourself if it's good for you or not the absolute best time to do all this is going to be on Jumpstart Server where all these characters, no matter what, are going to have some advanced progression. Because even if you do decide that you do make one, you, you have the talent transfers, you have all that stuff to push people to at least level 500, item level 500, and then get all the advanced things from there to try things out. So as I was editing this video, they actually saw that the people who made the community guides, they made a Jumpstart advice guide. Now, this is pretty good. They talk about the classes. They give little quick tip points on each class and build so i suggest really looking at that i'll put a link to that into the description all right so i should cover everything i want to cover for a part one here part two will be covering vertical and horizontal progression it hopefully that will be uploaded with this video or at least very shortly after because i'm trying to push these out before jumpstart which is uh in two days fuck probably sooner once i upload it hell they might even be out when you're hearing this